OAC is a sector of a circle, centre row, radius 10 metres. BA is the tangent to the circle at point A. BC is the tangent to the circle at point C. Angle AOC equals 120 degrees. Calculate the area of the shaded region. Give your answer correct three significant figures. So the first thing we need to know for this question is that tangents to a circle are always at a right angle to the radius of the circle. And because both BA and BC are tangents to the circle, this means that angle BAO and angle BCO are both right angles. So we can mark this onto our diagram. Now what we can see is we've got a kite shape here. Now kites are quadrilaterals and all angles in a quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees. So what this means is angle ABC is equal to 360 minus 90 minus 90 minus 120. And this gives us an answer of 60 degrees. So again, we can map this onto our diagram. So the way to do this question is to minus the area of the sector from the area of the total quadrilateral. So the first thing we'll want to do is work out the area of the quadrilateral. Now the best way to do this is to split the quadrilateral in half to form two right angled triangles. Now what this means is angle ABO up here will be half the size of what it was, making it 30 degrees. And angle BAO will again be half the size, making it 60 degrees. Now in order to work out the area, we'll need to know another side length. So we can use Sokotoa to work this out. So as we can see, the side we'll want to work out is side AB. Because with this, we can use the formula a half base times height to work out the total area. So our hypotenuse is always the longest side. And then if we use the 60 degree angle here, this will make length AB side O and therefore making side AO A. So when using tan, tan x, where x is the angle, is equal to opposite over adjacent. So what we can see, the opposite side is the side we want to work out, and we already have the adjacent side. So we can substitute in our values. So the angle we're using is 60, so this means tan 60 is equal to opposite over 10, which means that length AB will be equal to 10 multiplied by tan 60. And if we put this into our calculator, this tells us that our opposite side is equal to 10 root 3. So we can mark this onto our diagram. Now both of these triangles are exactly the same. They're just reflected down this centre line. So if we work out the area of this left triangle here, we can double it to work out the area of the full quadrilateral. So the area of the triangle is equal to a half base times height. So the length of our base is 10 metres and the length of our height is 10 root 3 metres. So this means our area is equal to a half multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 root 3. And this gives us a total of 50 root 3 metres squared. So we'll want to double our value for the area of the triangle. And if we put this into our calculator, this gives us a value of 173.21 metres squared. Now the next part of this question is working out the area of this sector. Now there's 360 degrees in a full circle. However, this angle is 120 degrees. So what this means is this sector is exactly a third of a full circle. So if we divide the formula for the area of a circle by 3, this will give us the area of this sector. So the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, which means that the area of this sector will be equal to pi r squared divided by 3. So our radius has been given to us 
as 10. So this means the area of sector AOC will be equal to pi multiplied by 10 squared divided by 3. And this gives us an answer of 104.72 metres squared. So now the final thing we need to do is minus the area of the sector from the area of the quadrilateral. So the shaded area of this shape is equal to the area of the quadrilateral minus the area of the sector. So if we substitute in the values which we worked out, our value for the area of the quadrilateral was 173.21. And the area for the sector was 104.72. And if you put this into our calculator, this gives us an answer of 68.49. And now the final thing we need to do is give our answer correct three significant figures. So we're going to want to round 68.49 up to 68.5. And this is our final answer. Now this question's worth five marks. We'll get our first mark for showing that either angle BAO or BCO are 90 degrees. We'll get our second mark for working out the length of side AB. We'll get our third mark for working out the area of one of the triangles. We'll get our fourth mark for working out the area of the sector. And our fifth mark for the correct answer.